Hello everyone, Michael back with another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to remove all the items in a SharePoint list used in Power Automate. If you enjoy SharePoint, Teams, Power Automate, and Power Apps videos, feel free to subscribe because I'll be putting out more videos in those areas. So let's get into the video. The reason I'm putting out this video is because if you have a long, like a long SharePoint list with a ton of items, manually going through it and scrolling down and continuing to scroll down to grab another 100 items, it could take a while. And there's a pretty simple way to do it in Power Automate, so I'm just going to show you that. So we're going to be working with my grocery list right here. I have 48 items. Uh, it doesn't matter the amount of items in your SharePoint list. I think there might be like a cap of 100,000, but I'm not too sure. So let's go into Power Automate. All right, so in Power Automate, we're going to do My Flows. And for My Flow, I'm going to set up as an instant cloud flow. So when I click on a button, it will manually trigger it. You can do a schedule cloud flow if you want to remove something, or if you are doing an automate cloud flow and want to include removing SharePoint items, you can do that. So for flow name, we're just going to do remove SharePoint list items. And again, for my trigger, it's going to be manually trigger. So the first step, you don't need to do anything. Next step. So for this step, we're going to do the get items action. And this will grab all the SharePoint list items so right now as you can see my uh, ui might look a little different from yours because i do have in the top right hand corner of you all power automate settings i have the experimental features on if yours doesn't look like this you can change it right here so back in the video okay so for the site address i'm using the marketing sharepoint list name i'm using the grocery list and I'm not going to put any filters on it because it is all correct. And I want to use all the items. If you want to add a filter, only want to remove certain items, you're able to do that with the filter query. All right. So for the next operation, we're going to do, I believe it's delete item. And there it is, delete item for the SharePoint. So again, we're just going to do the site address, which is marketing list name. It's going to be the grocery list. And for the ID, we're going to use the ID from the get items. And as you can see, it tossed in and applied to each action because there's multiple. It puts the get items in an array. It's going through each value in that array. So that would be the grocery list. It goes through like one, two, three, four. It goes through all those items. So for the item and one other thing for the get items, the maximum on default is set to, I believe it's 100 items it will grab by default. We want to change that so we can work with larger SharePoint list. And to do that, you want to go into the triple dots and then click on settings, the pagination right here. So retrieve items to meet specific threshold by following the continuation token. So we're going to turn that on. And depending on your list, you're going to want to set it to like, if you have like 4,000 items, I'd set it to like 5,000 or 10,000 if you have a lot of data coming in. For me, I only have 48 items, so I'm going to do, we'll just do 1,000. I think the maximum is 100,000. Yeah, so 100,000. Uh, if you have more than that, you might have to get lucrative with your Power Automate. So I'm going to set this to 1,000 in my case. If you have more, you can just make sure it's higher than the, uh, the amount of items you have in your SharePoint list. All right, so let's go ahead and click on save. All right, we get an action for warning for get items. Just warning us that we can probably improve this to make it run faster. Let's go ahead and click on manually and we want to test it. It's going to ask me to sign in for my per SharePoint permission. And we're going to click on run flow. Click on done. Depending on the amount of items in your SharePoint list, it could take a while. I think, I don't know. I feel like it's like a second. It works with like, might be quicker than a second, but like a second to remove each item. We'll see after the run. So I had 48 items in here and we'll see how long it takes. So I'm just refreshing. And as you can see, the SharePoint list is slowly uh, deleting all the items. As you can see, welcome to your list. We have no items in the SharePoint list right now. And if we go to the run history, it ran successfully. So I have 48 items in my SharePoint list and took 30 seconds. So depending on how many items you have, it could take a little bit of time. And they all worked. And I think that will be it for the video. Nice little short video for you. And I believe the only issue you 
probably will run into is to get items uh, with the pagination limit. Besides that, that'll be the video. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Uh, feel free to like, subscribe, and comment, and I will catch you in the next one.